<laughs> you sneezing? You sneezing, little baby? Oh my god, he's so cute. He's just wiping his tail laying on the floor. Oh, he's so cute. Hey, baby. Hey. Okay. Well, now I'm here. So, I'm gonna mix this stuff. Put it on. Put it on. Ew, that sounds gross. Oh, I feel so strange. Run so fast in my in my life. Oh shit. Oh. Noble Attis. He was true to his word. Noble Attis. He was true to his word. <laughs> <sighs> Baby, I cannot let you out right now. I'm doing things. He's just staring at me like, bitch, don't you know who I am? Don't you know who I am? Oh, he looks so cute. Hello. 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 <laughs> well, okay, screw you guys. I'm not gonna talk to you. You're dumb. You're dumb and stupid. And if there's anything I know, it's dumb and stupid things. Right, banana? <laughs> Once we let him out of this room, so bad. He's so cute. Oh my god. Oh, whoa. Hey! That wasn't very nice. Come here, baby. Come here. Come here. Oh, mwah. Okay, um, let's see. Let's go this way. Let's talk to a cadaver, man. More to cadaver. Sweet little nugget. I bet Valenice walked by what's her name's house at the same moment that Rosella was in it. And that's how they cross paths. Yes? Oh my! You bear a stunning resemblance to a young lady I met earlier this evening. That must have been my daughter, Rosella! My Rosella. dear lady, do come in. So you are the mother of the charming Miss Rosella. Pleased to meet you, lady. Valenice of Daventry, sir. What a lovely name! I am Dr. Mort Cadaver. What can I do for you, Lady Valenice? When was the last time you saw my daughter? Where was she going? I saw her but a few short hours ago. She asked me about the Troll King, and very kindly brought me a new backbone. I do not know where she was headed. Dr. Cadaver, how was Rosella when you spoke with her? Did she seem well? Oh, abundantly so. She was the liveliest creature I've seen in years. <laughs> Dr. Cadaver, I hope this isn't rude of me, but is everyone in Ooga Booga, well, dead? As a doornail, for the most part. <laughs> Forgive me, Lady Valenice, but I have to make a house call. Oh, Good evening, Valenice. 
I will let you know if I hear word of Rosella. Thank you, Doctor. Good night. He just didn't want me to be here. <laughs> By house call, he means I'm gonna take a nap. <laughs> it's true. You guessed it. I should go to his house because I can't find anything. <laughs> I don't know what I'm supposed to do. I don't remember. My lady, are you Thalanis of Daventry? Why, yes. How did you know? Listen carefully. Your daughter has left this land. She is in dire trouble in the bowels of the great volcano. But that's not the worst of it. The volcano will soon erupt and then all will be lost, including your daughter. Uh-oh. What? We cannot just stand by and do nothing? Seek help from the Kingdom of Etheria, Valenys. They have the power to break the enchantment. You must! Where is this Etheria? How can I get there? To the clouds. Etheria floats in the clouds far above us, lady. Once our Lord Count Seppish could have taken you there, but he's unfortunately lost his head. Find a way to help him, and he will certainly help you. Her voice is so cute. Her voice is so kawaii desu neko kitty chan. <laughs> uh, I don't know how to help though. Let me look at her, she's probably gonna kill me with her face. Like she killed my My daughter. lady, are you ill? I am dead! <laughs> Oh my god, that scream. My goodness. Could she ever use a facial? 
That scream is so funny. Oh my god. Oh shit. Don't run me over. Don't run me over. What the frick? Oh wait, I know. I know. I know. I know. I, know. I remember. I remember. I remember. I remember. The saddest part about this game is that there was a lot more they wanted to put into it, but for some reason they like couldn't. Makes me so sad. So very sad. Show the crown of my sovereignty. I should play one of the other King's Quest games. See what I can see how different they were from this one. I'm gonna play six. I like six. Five was good too, but it was hard. I don't think I remember how to beat it. There you go. Good dog. Nice dog. He's like, mm, guess I'll chew on this bone. There now. You're not such a bad dog after all. And you are not such a bad human. Oh my god, he sounds so cool. That voice. You are the first creature to be kind to me since I lost my master and mistress. Thank you. You poor fellow. What happened to your people? My master was beheaded by Malicia's foul gargoyle Damn. and cursed to ride the skies in search of his head. My mistress died of grief shortly thereafter. Oh. And I? I tried to defend my home when the boogeyman came to burn it. I failed. Oh, don't be sad. Your master was Count Zepish? He was. I was proud to fight at his side. I would like to help your master. If I recovered his head, do you think the curse would be lifted? We can only hope. Here, take my master's medal. It may help you in the search. And thank you, brave lady. <laughs> take it. What was your mistress like, noble hound? She was the loveliest woman in Eldritch, and she loved my master, the Count, beyond all things. Now her shade is all bitterness and rage. You would do well to avoid her. Tell me, noble hound, why did Malicia slay your master? 
It was so long ago.